Welcome back, everybody. Reform is the big buzzword on Capitol Hill. We've been talking about this for a long time, but Senator Bob Corker took to Twitter yesterday saying, getting our fiscal house in order should still be priority number one. It must begin with entitlement and tax reform. Joining us right now is Senator Bob Corker himself. He is a member of the Banking Committee, and he is the ranking member of the Foreign Relations Committee. And, Senator, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you. Know, you. We've been watching the markets this morning, and it, it has shown some pressure. At this point, it looks like the Dow futures are triple digits down. Uh, we did see yesterday that S&P is revising its outlook to positive. Market shrugs this off like it doesn't particularly matter, and maybe that yeah. brings us back to your tweet from yesterday. Yeah. The same issues still are there. You know, we still haven't dealt with the big issues of entitlement reform, and I think all of us are glad to see revenues coming in the way they are and the deficit being reduced. Uh, we all know this is a short-term issue, and it's a great time for us to actually tackle the big issue. I still believe that uh, our market, our economy would really take off if we would just go ahead and deal with this issue. But there's, there's almost a fiscal fatigue. It's almost, uh, you know, I know I'm on your program. I've talked about this many times. I almost feel the audience yawning right now. You know, it's been going on forever. But, uh, you know, there, there's, there's no signs of any intensity yet around the issue, and yet we know this fall it's going to be topic de jour again. So. Yeah, the, the whole idea of the, the debt ceiling, it kind of just went away when the agreement yeah. was reached in January. Market hasn't thought about it, and yet the situation in Washington hasn't really changed, has it? It really hasn't, except that, uh, you know, candidly, in Congress, I don't feel that intensity. You know, the White House is making overtures. They're coming over today. They meet with a group of senators, but there's not not really a process in place to deal with the issue. And so, uh, you know, I worry that uh, it's going to be swept under the rug for a few years and, you know, continue to be a drag, as I still believe it's a thing that's keeping people from investing even more in the future. But uh, it's where we are, and it's affecting us around the world. I do a lot of world travel. We were talking about that earlier. But, you know, our status in the world, our, our friends worry if we're going to be there, our enemies think we're weakening. Uh, it's not just affecting our economy, but our standing around the world. Although some people will say the sequester, as messy of a process as yeah. it was, yeah. helped us out because it cut spending pretty dramatically just yeah. in terms of the actual budget for things going on around here. And you have seen tax um, returns come in pretty strong, yeah. too. Look, uh, the sequester is unbelievably ham-handed, but it's, uh, it's better than doing nothing. And I'm glad we have that in place. What I thought would happen is it would condition everybody to actually deal with this bigger issue. That hasn't happened yet. But again, uh, you know, we'll have a, uh, you know, we're going to have another line in the sand coming soon. May, I don't think there is going to be that grand bargain. I just don't feel it. But maybe maybe some kind of mini deal that at least begins to address some of the entitlement issues. Although when we were talking offset, you said the Senate at this point is still marking up bills from a pre-sequester. Well, it's interesting, level. yeah. You know, so, so the Senate, it's, it's almost beyond belief, is using as their top line for appropriations pre-sequester numbers. So you have to wonder, what are they thinking? I mean, that's not going to happen. So I think that likely leads us to another continuing resolution, which again is a really ham-handed way of running our country. There are mm -hmm. things that should be changed within these appropriation numbers at the lower numbers to make our country function better.